and welcome to the Over 50 Health and Wellness Podcast. I'm your host, Kevin English. I'm the founder of The Silver Edge, and our mission is to help you build and maintain a lean, healthy body that you love for the rest of your life so that you can show up in the second half of your life as the healthiest, strongest, most vital version of yourself. Today, we have another episode of The Coach's Corner, so no guest, it's just me, and we'll be back next week with our normal interview format. But today, I want to talk to you about how to build a bigger booty. We'll start out by talking about why you'd want to consider building a more robust backside. We'll talk about the best exercises for booty building. And finally, we'll put together an eight-week program designed to give you a banging booty. Now, unfortunately, I could not get the digital rights to Sir mix classic anthem to Big Butts, so my suggestion is to cue that up on your favorite music service and listen to it right after this podcast. And one more thing before we get started, you'll hear me refer to the Over 50 Booty Builder Guide several times in this episode. This is a free guide and it has video demonstrations for all the exercises we're going to talk about today, as well as an eight week booty building program. And you can download that over at silveredgefree.com. Okay, let's get on with today's show. The Over 50 Guide to Building a Bodacious Booty. Okay, before we dig in and talk about the best way to build a bigger backside, let's take a few minutes and talk about why you'd want to develop your glutes. Most of us are sedentary and we sit most of the day, resulting in weak and underdeveloped glute muscles. And when our glutes are weak, we tend to compensate with other muscles. You may have heard the term quad dominant, and this is exactly what it sounds like. Our quads are forced to compensate for our weakened glutes. When it comes to musculature, perhaps you've heard the popular adage that the front is for show and the back is for go. We often pay more attention to the muscles on the front of our bodies, the so-called mirror muscles, than those on our posterior. But neglect these posterior muscles at your own peril since these really are your go muscles and they have a huge impact on your performance. And guess which muscle is the biggest in your body? Yep, the appropriately named gluteus maximus. Here are a few really good reasons why you should consider training your glutes. Number one, for improved balance and stability. Strong glutes can help improve balance and stability, which can help reduce the risk of falls and injuries. And this is, of course, particularly important as we age, as our risk of falls and injuries, of course, increase the older we get. Number two, reduce risk of chronic pain. Weak glutes can often contribute to chronic pain in the lower back, hips, and knees. Strengthening the glutes helps alleviate this pain and improves overall function. Number three, better posture. Strong glutes can help improve posture by keeping the hips level and the spine in alignment. Not only can this reduce the risk of chronic pain, as we just mentioned, but it can also improve your overall appearance. Number four, increased mobility. Strong glutes can help improve mobility by allowing for better movement and control of the hips and legs. This can make it easier to perform daily tasks and activities. Number five, increased muscle mass. As we age, our muscles naturally lose some mass and function, and by training the glutes, us older adults can help to increase muscle mass and slow down muscle loss. And number six, the last but perhaps not least reason you might want to seriously consider training your glutes is the aesthetic appeal of having a firm, well-developed booty. And this applies to us guys as well as you ladies. Our culture has shifted its whimsical taste to favor the larger posterior. Okay, so we now know why we want to strengthen our booties. Let's talk about what your booty is. Gluteal muscles, commonly referred to as your glutes, are a group of muscles located in your buttocks, of course. They include the gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and the little gluteus minimus. 
These muscles are responsible for the movement and stability of the hips and your legs. And the gluteus maximus is, of course, the largest and most superficial of all the gluteal muscles. And it's responsible for extension, adduction, and external rotation of your hips, while your gluteus medius and gluteus minimus are located deeper than the gluteus maximus. And they're also responsible for adduction, internal rotation, and stability of your hips. So let's spend a few minutes talking about glute activation before we dig into the best booty building exercises and how to program effectively to build your backside. So when we say glute activation, we're really talking about creating and maintaining a mind muscle connection in this case with our glutes. So let's use the example of a barbell back squat. This is a fantastic exercise for developing the glutes hence the popular term squat booty. But many of us are quad dominant and aren't connected to our glutes when we squat, and this causes us to miss out on those precious booty gains. The best way to counter this is by activating your glutes before you move into the main part of your workout. And for this, we'll employ glute accessory and activation exercises. A few of my favorite glute activation movements are banded or cable pull-throughs, glute frog pumps, banded X-walks, and stability ball leg raises. There's a bunch more, but those are a few of my favorite. As opposed to me trying to describe these movements on a podcast, you can, of course, head over to silveredgefree.com and download our free Over 50 Booty Builder Guide, which has video demonstrations of all these movements. Now, before we talk about what exercises are best and how we want to program for a spectacular booty, we need to take a minute and talk about nutrition. Plain and simple, if you want to build your booty, you need to feed your booty. We must be in a calorie surplus to build muscle, and the glutes are certainly no exception. If you're in a calorie deficit or you're under eating, you're simply going to have a very difficult time building an amazing backside. If you're not sure on how to get started with the ideal diet for your booty gains, we have a free Fix My Diet assessment that can get you started, and you can also find that over at silveredgefree.com. Okay, now we know what the booty is, we know why we might want to train it and how to feed it, let's talk about how to put these booty building exercises into an exercise program to build a strong, capable, and spectacular backside. For this program, you'll need access to a commercial gym or at least a well-equipped home gym. And this program also assumes that you're familiar with all of the exercise prescribed. If you're not familiar with these exercises or you're new to this style of strength training, please reach out and we can help you modify this program to meet your current training level. This program is broken into two four-week training blocks and each block contains three full body workout days. While this program is designed to hit the full body, our intention is to put the rest of our body into maintenance mode and really focus on developing the glutes. In phase one, we focus on building strength and we'll accomplish this through heavy weights, low reps, and longer rest periods between our sets. The intention of this phase is to build strength that you can carry over into your next phase. In phase two, we switch our focus from absolute strength to hypertrophy. We'll lower the weights, we'll increase the reps, and we'll shorten our rest periods. Our focus will be on building muscle size and definition. Now, before we jump into discussing the actual exercise program, let's take a minute and talk about progressive overload and exercise tracking. If you want your booty to grow, you'll need to give it a reason to grow. In other words, you'll need to send a loud muscle building signal to your body. And the best way to do that is through the principle of progressive overload. Now, this is just a fancy way of saying that each time you do a particular exercise, you'll want to do one of two things, either add a little bit more weight or add another rep or two. In other words, you want to do just a little bit more work than you did the last time. And of course, you'll need a way to track this. There are tons of apps out there that do a great job of this, or you can go old school and use a good old fashioned notebook and pencil. Okay, let's talk about the program here. In phase one, remember in this first phase, we're focused on building strength. So your job is to select weights that are 
I'd say extremely challenging, but that you can still complete the prescribed amount of work with perfect form. So again, you're going to have three full body days in this phase, and we'll talk through what each of these days looks like. Again, don't worry if you're not sure what some of these movements are. Again, you can download the Over 50 Booty Builder Guide, and this is all laid out with video demonstrations of all the movements. Okay, so in this first phase, day one, we'll have a general warm up. And then we're gonna move right into our glute activation exercise. In this case, it's a glute frog pump. We'll do two sets of these, about 10 to 15 reps, and we'll rest maybe 30 to 45 seconds in between. And again, this is our glute activation exercise. So the intention here really is to get those glutes firing, to get that mind-muscle connection really working before we go into the main part of our exercise. So think of this as a priming movement. Then we get into the actual working sets of this workout, and we're going to have the barbell back squat first. We'll do three sets of four to six reps, and we're gonna rest two to three minutes in between. So these should feel heavy, and you should be connected to your glutes, especially as you're coming up out of the hole from these squats. From the barbell back squat, we'll move into a barbell Romanian deadlift. Again, we're gonna do three sets, pretty heavy at four to six reps, again, resting that two to three minutes. Okay, so that's our booty work for the day. And then for the rest of our body, we're gonna hit a barbell bench press for three sets of six to eight reps with 90 seconds of rest. We'll do some bent, barbell bent over rows. Again, three sets of that with six to eight reps, 90 seconds of rest. I love throwing in a suitcase carry here. So that's where you're just gonna grab a heavy kettlebell or a dumbbell in one hand and walk. We'll do a couple sets of those. And then we're going to finish with a glute finisher. And for this, I like a cable pull through. We're gonna do four sets of 10 to 20, get with about 60 seconds of rest in between. So we're really gonna light up those glutes at the end of day one. Okay, so we're going to rest a day, at least a day, in between each of these work days in phase one. So workout two is going to look like this. Again, we'll have a general warm-up, and we'll do some banded pull-throughs as our primer. So a couple sets of those, 10 to 15 reps, maybe 30 seconds of rest in between. Then we get into our actual working sets today, and we are going straight to the barbell hip thrust, which is probably the king of booty building exercises. You've got three sets at six to eight reps. You're gonna rest 90 seconds in between. These should be heavy. These should be full extension at the top. That's really where you're gonna get those gains and really squeeze the glutes at the top of that movement. Next, we're gonna go to Bulgarian split squats. Some of you are gonna hate me after this workout because your booty is gonna be on fire after you go straight from those barbell hip thrust to Bulgarian split squats. And a lot of folks do these at higher reps. Very few people do these at heavier reps. So this is written as three sets at six to eight each leg. So you should definitely be feeling your booty after, after those two back-to-back -back exercises. Then for the rest of body, we've got a barbell overhead press. We've got three sets of that. We have some pull-ups. For those of you that don't do pull-ups, you could substitute a lat pull-down would be a very good appropriate regression there. Then we have some cable wood choppers, get a little bit of rotational uh, exercise for the abs. And our finisher, our glute finisher, is going to be a stability ball leg raise. Again, we have four sets of those, 20 to 40 each leg. So really high volume here. Again, we're going to pump some blood into those glutes and your butt should be on fire after day two. We're gonna have a rest day or two and we come to our final day three for phase one. Again, a general warm up, And again, we go back to our banded pull throughs. I love banded pull throughs for my activation, my glute activation before I get into my working sets. And we're going to the tried and true barbell deadlift. Nice and heavy, three sets, four to six. You're resting two to three minutes here. And then we have dumbbell step ups. Again, pretty heavy. We're gonna do six to eight each leg. You got three sets of those. You're only gonna get 90 seconds of rest in between. Then we have a little bit of arm work. We haven't done any arm work yet in this, in this uh, first week here. So we'll do some barbell skull crushers, some barbell bicep curls. And then we're gonna do some banded X walks we're gonna do 20 to 30 per side, two sets of those. So that's gonna help light up your glutes. And then we're gonna jump straight into some glute frog pumps. We have four sets of those, high volume, 20 to 40. Again, about 90 second rest in between those. And you're gonna feel your glutes here. 
So again, it's really important that you folks rest in between these, that you don't try to do these back-to-back -back days. So if you find yourself where you're really sore two, three, even four days afterwards, back up a little, reduce your either the volume or the weight, perhaps both a little bit. You should feel sore the next day and you should definitely, your booty should know it did some work, but you shouldn't be really, really sore two, three days later. So we do four weeks of phase one. And now just as an aside, these phases could just as easily have been six weeks long or eight weeks long. And you're more than welcome to extend each of these phases. I just picked four weeks because eight weeks to a bigger booty kind of has a nice ring to it, right? Okay, so just as in phase one, we're, we're going to want to select weights that are challenging and that we can complete with perfect form, but this is our hypertrophy phase. So we are going to shift our focus from brute strength more to that mind-muscle connection. We're gonna drop the weight significantly and we're gonna slow these reps down. We're gonna concentrate on the contraction or the squeeze at the top of each movement. And we're really gonna focus on a nice, slow, eccentric portion to these movements. So just very quickly, we'll go through phase two exercises. Always a warm up, right? We're gonna do some glute frog pumps for our accessory work or for our primer work, get those glutes fired up. We go to barbell back squat, but this time you have three sets of 10 to 15 and you've only got a minute of rest in between. We're gonna move into some single leg Romanian deadlifts. You got four sets of that, 10 to 15 per leg, only a minute rest in between. That's gonna fire you up. For the rest of the body then, we throw in some dumbbell shoulder presses. We have some dumbbell single arm rows. We have that suitcase carry again. You saw that in, in phase one. And then we have some stability ball leg raises for our glute finisher. High volume, you got four sets of 20 to 40 per leg. That's gonna really burn you up. All right, so we rest a day or two. and We come to day two, general warm up. Again, those banded pull throughs are gonna be our priming, our glute priming movement. And we move right into the barbell hip thrust. This time we have five sets of 10 to 15. So we're gonna reduce the load and really work on connecting here. Whereas in phase one, we had, I think it was six to eight reps um, and we're looking for really heavy. Here, we're looking to really reduce that load. You had a lot of volume, but I want perfect form. And again, I want full extension at the top and really squeeze those glutes at the top. Then we go to some Bulgarian split squats. Then for the rest of the body, we have some dumbbell bench press. Uh, we'll do a machine lat pull down for those of you that don't have pull-ups. Got the suitcase carry again. And then we're gonna finish with four sets of the banded pull-throughs. So you have banded pull-throughs as your primer this day, as well as your finisher. And then finally, day three, general warm-up. And then we have some supersets for you here. We have some dumbbell uh, reverse lunges supersetted with dumbbell step-ups and pretty high volume, 10 to 15, three sets of those. So what that means, you're gonna do those dumbbell reverse lunges and without rest, move right into those dumbbell step ups. Um, that should be challenging for most of you. And that will be your only working glute exercises for the day. I think that you'll find that it's plenty. And then for rest of body, we're gonna do some overhead tricep extensions, some hammer curls, some Russian twists, and we're gonna finish with some banded X walks and some glute frog pumps. We've got, again, high volume on that, four sets at 20 to 40 with a minute rest in between. And there you go. Again, don't worry if you didn't keep up with all of that. I probably should have just said, hey, <laughs> we have phase one, phase two, and there's full body workout. Go check it out. But if you're curious, that's what a program might look like if you were interested in really working on your glutes, but obviously want to keep the rest of your body looking good as well, and but just make it really a glute-focused program. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, what about cardio? For this eight week program, I would recommend a daily walking practice of a minimum of 7,000 steps, which for most of us is gonna to equate to about an hour of walking. Feel free to break this up however you see fit. You do 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening is fine, or a bunch of 15 minute sessions, however you like, right? But really try and get those steps in. And I would caution you, especially you cardio folks out there, be careful of adding too much additional cardio in as this could be catabolic, meaning that it's going to be a competing signal to the muscle building signal we're trying to send specifically to the glutes in this case, which means it'll be extremely difficult if not impossible to build muscle if you're overdoing it on the cardio side. Okay, so wrapping up here, now what? 
Once you've completed this program, it's time to reassess your goals. You certainly should have a stronger backside than when you started, and you should have increased your booty size. And a simple tape measurement before and after would help confirm this. If you're happy with your newfound booty gains, feel free to move on to your preferred mode of strength training. Still want to work on building your booty? Run back through this program again. And if you're not sure where to go from here, feel free to reach out to us at coach at silveredgefitness.com and we can help with a custom roadmap to ensure you meet your new goals. Okay, that's our show for today, folks. Once again, you can download your copy of the Over 50 Booty Builder Guide over at silveredgefree.com. As we wrap up our time together today, you can show your support for this show in two important ways. The first is to tell a friend about this podcast and encourage them to give it a listen. The second is for you YouTube folks to click the like and subscribe buttons and for you podcast folks to consider giving this podcast a five-star review on whatever platform you listen to podcasts on and be sure to subscribe and follow so you don't miss any future episodes. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today and until next time, Stay strong.